All right. Chris has seventy-six five-dollar notes. How much money does he have all together? And we figured out that the equation is seventy-six times five. Now I don't know my seventy-six times tables. So what could we do to solve this equation? What strategy could we use, Sydney? Uh, place value. Place value. Okay. How are we going to use place value to solve this? What would be our first step, Trista Jade? Um, first step would be to break the 76 into a 70. Break the 76 into a 70? And the 6 into a 6. Break 76 into a 70 and a 6. Great. What's our next step, Jarakeet? Um, you can do 5 times 70 and 5 times 6. Great. So instead of going to 76 times 5, we go 70 times 5 and 6 times 5. Great. How do we work out 70 times 5, Sydney? Uh, you go 6 times 5 equals 30 and then 70 times 5 equals 30. How would we work out um, 70 times 5? That will equal 350. How did you get the answer 350? I did 7 times 5 equals 35, and then I add the 0. Great. Alright, what's our final step, Trista Jade? Um, to add both of them together, and the whole answer would be 380. So now we add those two together, and our final answer is 380. Agree or disagree? Agree. Agree. Awesome. Let's go through the steps that we used. First, what was the first thing that we did to solve 76 times 5, Falena? Well, we broke the numbers up. We broke the numbers up. And what did we break the numbers up into, Trista Jade? Um, into... Tens and ones. We broke the 76 up into the tens and ones. 70 times 5 and 6 times 5. We worked that out and then we added it all together. Let's check our answer. 